Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Do you believe in God? I'm sure most of you are believers. Who is God? Any definition? Any criteria? Especially for non-Muslims watching this video. I want you to think and reflect on who made you. Can a stone make you? Can God look like a human being? We all know as human beings the kind of mistakes we make. The ill will we have in our hearts. Can this be attributed to God? No, right? We will talk about this in a while. Sandeep Maheswari is a very famous motivational speaker from India. You might be knowing him. Listen to what he has to say on the oneness of God. एक है बिलीफ बिलीफ क्या कहता है हमारा जो हम सब लोगों की कंडीशनिंग हो रखी है बचपन से आज तक भगवान से रिलेटेड क्या माइंड में बैठा हुआ है सबके क्या बैठा हुआ है कि बहुत सारे भगवान हैं है ना और लोग आपस में कंफ्यूज हुए पड़े हैं कि भाई मैं तो भगवान शिव का भक्त हूँ तू किसका भक्त है तू कृष्ण का भक्त है अरे नहीं नहीं कृष्ण तो इतना अच्छा भगवान नहीं है जितना कि भगवान शिव है मतलब उसमें भी लोगों की लड़ाई हो रही है आपस में उनसे पूछो क्यों आप इस भगवान की पूजा करते हो क्योंकि ये भगवान बेटर है भगवान को भी मार्क्स दे दिए दस में से दस नंबर दस में से नौ नंबर दस में से आठ नंबर और सबको दस में से दस वाला भगवान चाहिए बट ये बच्चों जैसी सोच है अगर आप किसी भी स्क्रिप्चर को स्टडी करोगे जो रियल स्क्रिप्चर है रियल स्क्रिप्चर किसी भी रिलीजन का उसको स्टडी करोगे उसमें बिल्कुल क्लियर तरीके से आपको बताया जाएगा कि हर फॉर्म में एक ही भगवान है भगवान दो नहीं हो सकते नहीं तो उन दो की आपस में लड़ाई हो जाएगी होनी होनी है कॉन्फ्लिक्ट क्रिएट हो जाएगा सोच के देखो दो बड़ी बड़ी पावर्स अगर आपस में टकरा जाए दो भगवानों की आपस में लड़ाई हो जाए तो हम लोग कहाँ जाएंगे ये दुनिया कहाँ जाएगी ठीक है ना तो भगवान एक ही है The sole purpose of making this video is to convey the message of truth. Well, he's right. There can't be two gods. There can't be two kings of one castle. But we see our non-Muslim friends, especially in the subcontinent, worshipping many gods, mostly because they inherited this practice from their forefathers or parents. It's our responsibility to know and verify things in life to put them in order. Here's where we want to help you. We are not here to offend you. God can't exist in an idol. Then we hear the answer. It's for concentration and focus? But isn't it insulting God? By the way, where is the reference for these arguments? You can't be coming and quoting things on God from nowhere. If there's anyone who can explain about the creation, it's the Creator Himself. We all can't see God in this life. That's the test of this life. You need to believe first and understand the reality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, Say, He is Allah, who is one, Allah, the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born, nor is there to Him any equivalent. Quran, chapter 112, verse 1 to 4. Let me explain this. God is one. He is eternal. He doesn't have parents, nor He can beget. And the final verse, there is nothing like Him. And the verse says, there is nothing like Him. Our mind can't even comprehend this. You have no choice but to accept it after death. It's best, in fact, 100% important and priority to find out the purpose of life. Who are you? Who made you? Why are you here? Where does your soul go after death? Brothers and sisters, do you want to be in a better place? Come to Islam. We invite you. Make a sincere prayer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you towards the truth. Verily, Allah is the greatest. Allah is perfect. All praise and glory belong to Him and Him alone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from shirk. The biggest sin in Islam is shirk, which means to associate partners with God. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you like the video. 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would like to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.